excellent break in that last frame as well. You know, to get to force the respot and some really classical safety shots on that respot. Well done. Congratulations, well done. <laughs> Let's get your reaction. It was a lovely bit of drama at the end there. Fantastic clearance to force that respot. And uh, give us your impression of the way you came through today, Ron. Yeah, I, uh, it's hard to analyse how you play, you know, because you see a different game when you're sitting there watching it. But, you know, I just try to be as professional as I can and just disciplined and just just try, you know, just draw, draw on all your experience to, play, to, to, to do what you got to do sometimes. You've, you've had, what, a month off since that fantastic moment in, in York. Yeah. I just wonder how much reflection you had on that and how difficult it was to, to come back to work afterwards. Uh, I don't know, really, yeah, I mean... I don't know, it's been a few tournaments since then, so you kind of feel like you're a bit behind as well in some ways, you know, but that's just the way it is, you know, and um, yeah, no, I'm just happy to be back playing. It's an overawing venue, isn't it? I mean, did you feel that Stuart was sort of a little bit flat, a bit subdued? Uh, I don't know, really, to be honest with you, he just played the balls, didn't he? He sort of like, you know, he, he looked like he was getting a bit stronger towards the end, and you know, I'd made a few mistakes, let him in, you know, and the game can punish you sometimes, you just have to just... One of them, it foot, foot to the metal and just go as hard as you can for as long as you can and see what happens sometimes. Yeah, how was the table playing? Because it looked a little bit sluggish, even though it was, nah, it was a great nah, reaction nah. from the bear, but the, nah, the cushions looked nah, a little bit... Nah, the table's fine, yeah. Was it? Yeah, if you're in touch, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if you're not in touch, then it'll catch you out. But um, yeah, anyone that's cured all right will do all right now. I tell you what, we were saying, you know, you love this event. This is the one that's obviously close to home. You can go home to your own bed. and it, It's done, made for... So I prefer the ones where you go away, you know. That's like, right. Yeah, to Wales and places like that, you know, at least you get away and you get a bit of peace and quiet. We're here, you know, you have to deal with the normal stuff of day to day, you know. So um, it's a bit difficult for me, this one, because there was a few people want to come and watch. And I guess the expectation levels are huge. And when you're standing at the top of those stairs, there's yeah. still, you yeah. know, you've got to get used to it again. There's still yeah. a gulp when you come down that it's stairs. It's really difficult. It? Twelve finals, do you think? Yeah, I know, and I've only won seven. You know, I should, I should have won a few more, really. You know, I was eight, eight and four up against Steve. I was six two up against Paul Hunter, I think, and nine six up against Selby. So I threw a few away. Not, I'm not saying you didn't play well. I mean, Steve played, Steve played brilliant to win, but still from eight and four, you know, you'd fancy your chances. But you know, uh, no, he played magic. You know, he played some of the best stuff that anyone's ever played against me. So um, yeah, I mean, just let it go sometimes. And you know, obviously, before Christmas, you were talking about feeling so good about the game, nineteenth major title, telling you could play for another 10 years or so do you, do you uh, feel yeah i can play for another 10 years but i get tired now you know yeah. i just you know i feel I, and I, i've got like insomnia really i've had it for like seven years so every now and again it catches me out and i feel really tired today I'm, it's not, I'm, uh, last year i was unwell which is a different thing but i just felt tired today you know and uh, i wasn't sure i was going to get through it but i just kind of went out there and adrenaline kicked in but then you kind of hit a little slump again and then the adrenaline pumped in and then you come alive again so it's important when you're tired to feel like you're playing all right because then adrenaline can, can overtake you. You can tell how much it really meant to you, even getting yeah, over that line. You know, yeah, the first round, you, yeah. you sort of gave it a lot yeah, of fish. You don't really well, see that a lot, but you still... I don't want to become one of them, you know. No, like, no, that's no. It. So it was just because the fans, you know, there's big fans here, you know, 2,000 people, and it, it got exciting. It was getting a bit tense, yeah. you know, and I was relieved to get over the line, yeah. you know, so... You know, it wasn't like, yeah, you know, no, no. in your face. It was just like, I'm pleased to get through and, you know, I'm happy to come back and play another match in this venue. You know? In terms of your form, we saw the 96 followed by back-to-back -back centuries. When you do take the time to reflect on that, are you happy with the way you've played today? Uh, it was all right. You know, I've, I think I've got lucky this season, to be honest with you. There's been a few like, tournaments that I've won. There's been matches that I should have lost, you know. So I've got, I've got, I've got lucky, you know, Kyron Wilson had me by, had me, you know, Ken had me. You know, let's, let's, let's be honest about it, you know, and I was lucky to get through them matches and, you know, I was lucky in Shanghai and a couple of matches. So, you know, I've, I've got lucky this season, you know, and we can't keep riding your luck. So at some point I'm going to have to, you know, um, try and win convincingly from start to finish. If, if, you know, that's the nicest way to Well, we were saying at the start, is it, you know, sitting here watching as if you've, you've sort of got the evil eye on the players a little bit. As if they, I they don't think that works. Don't anymore. think? No, I don't it think. It feels like it to us. Yeah, yeah. I, I may be watching, but I just don't think that works anymore. I think you have yeah. to play well. You have to play solid. It might, you know, for half a frame might count for something, but if you slow out the blocks and you don't kind of have an impact on the game, too many good players in there. Uh, you know, and they're, they're, they're used to playing the top players, I think, and they just feel a bit more fancy, I suppose, you know what I mean? Um, maybe, I don't know. And I, I don't think anyone will ever dominate the game like Steve did or Stephen Hendry, you know, where they just convincingly beat everyone very easily. I think nowadays it'll just be shared around and 
the odd player might you know nick a few more events than the other but I just don't see anyone that much better than anybody else there's a lot of very very good players out there you know? I'll tell you what it's a good day's work today Ronnie well done you're into the quarter final <laughs> Ryan Day get some sleep absolutely and uh, we will catch you again very soon actually because we've got live on the red button tonight is Ding Junwei against Jack Lazowski